I started lifting weights at the age of 14. And the time I really started to get serious about at least like resistance training and like the typical kind of like bodybuilding kind of style weight training, I started lifting weights in the first COVID lockdown that started in March of 2020. And the thing was, when I first started lifting weights, I was doing it all by myself. I was really small at the time. I was like five foot two and like 100 pounds, maybe soaking wet. And I wanted to get bigger for basketball. So I started working on my vertical jump was that was the main thing that I started. And then I started lifting weights and doing like push pull leg split to try and bulk up and put on some weight. And when I started lifting weights, I immediately fell in love with it. I loved the style of training of just like lifting to get bigger and really pushing myself on those sets and everything because I'd always been into training. I'd done like a lot of CrossFit and I always played sports, but resistance training just gave me that different sense of progress and I saw I started to see myself actually getting bigger and putting on some muscle and it was really motivating but there was something that was kind of always on my mind especially when I was lifting weights and also practicing basketball a lot and it was the fact that whenever I do this I did it alone I lifted weights alone I practiced basketball alone I'd study alone everything that I was doing to try and improve my life I did it alone. And at first I just kind of thought this was the way things were done. If you want something, you have to work hard for it. And if there's no one else around you, then you work hard on it by yourself. And I am extremely grateful that I had the discipline and the drive to work hard at those things for my future self. But I distinctly remember around that time that I started lifting weights, that I still had a bunch of passion for all these things but it was really starting to become a monotonous grind. I'd been practicing basketball for like two, three hours every single day for close to the past, like three years at that point. And I love basketball more than anything at the time. Music was close at the back then, but like basketball was what I wanted to do. But I'd always remember first thing in the morning after I'd done like my schoolwork for that period of time, I just, I grabbed my ball and I walked to the court by myself to play again, again, again. And it was COVID. So like you couldn't really play with anyone else, but it just been something that I'd done for so long. And it was really starting to kind of not make me think about it, but it was kind of starting to weigh on me. Like, is this really all worth it? And like, is there has to be a better way to do this. And there's this really big kind of like facade online that like, oh, if you want to get better, you have to work hard by yourself. You have to grind in the dark all alone when no one's watching. You have to be spending all your time alone in your sweaty room, just working all, all by yourself because no one understands you and you need to be the lone wolf and all this stuff and blah, 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 blah. And being someone who experienced that life and worked hard like that and felt what it was like to kind of like take that journey all alone and just, just think you needed to be alone. It's not fulfilling at all. Success by yourself means nothing. No matter what kind of grades you get, no matter what kind of points you score in a basketball game, if you have no one to share your success, if you have no one to share your success with, it's not going to mean anything to you. It will mean absolutely nothing because you're always going to have that underlying feeling of loneliness. I remember when I'd be lifting weights and I hit a PR by myself, I'd kind of like hype myself up like alone, like, yes, I got it. And then just realized I was just lifting weights alone in my basement and I had like no one to share that moment with. And it was like COVID. So obviously there wasn't like much I could do, but I just remember thinking like, man, there's got to be a better way to do this. And what eventually ended up happening was one of my friends at the time who was not athletic at all, didn't really play any sports or anything. And we weren't like really all that close. When things kind of opened up for COVID and everything, he ended up asking me to start training together because he knew that I was into sports and stuff and he wanted to start training and getting in better shape too. So we started training together. And I can tell you with 100% confidence that I probably made progress at double the rate when I was training with someone else that I genuinely enjoyed training with versus when I was training by myself because one, it was just more fun. It was just a more enjoyable experience to have someone there that's hyping you up when you're going for that PR lift or just someone to share that experience with. And two, you're pushing each other because if your training partner is lifting more weights than you, you naturally want to put in more effort and like to get strong, to get where he is. And it's just kind of this friendly competition and it pushes you to be better and it's far more enjoyable of an experience. And me and that friend kept training together for like the next three years until life kind of put us on different paths. But for the amount of time that we were in the same place, we were always training together. And the thing about being on self-improvement and trying to work towards a better life for yourself is that it can be lonely because majority of the people around you 
aren't on this journey. They're not trying to improve their life. They're not in the gym trying to get healthier. They're not like meditating, working on their mental health. They're not excited about their future. They're not looking to improve their life. And that's fine. No discredit to them. But if you're on this journey, then I'm guessing you don't resonate with a lot of people around you. And it can be hard to deal with that loneliness. So how do you do it? Because there are going to be times in your life where you need to deal with that loneliness. You have to take that walk kind of alone and sometimes it can weigh on you. And I've gone through my fair share of feeling like this. Over the past couple months, I'm back in Canada right now, but for the past three months, I was traveling in New Zealand and Australia. And when I got there, I knew one person in that country who I didn't meet up until like with after a month. So I was traveling there all by myself, just meeting new people and everything. And the thing about traveling is it's great. You can meet a lot of new people, but there's also a lot of time that you have to spend alone because traveling solo you're not always traveling with other people to the same place you have to spend a lot of time alone which a lot of people don't realize and sometimes it can get to you you know you're missing being home you're on the road and you're like you're tired all the time and stuff and it can get to you but throughout the last little bit there's been two things that have really kind of helped me find my path and helped me to deal with the loneliness that can come on this journey of self-improvement and the first thing that will allow you to keep pushing forward and keep going is understanding your why you need to have an idea of what your purpose is and the goal that you're working towards. And it needs to be something that's genuinely important to you. In terms of purpose, if you're pursuing something that you genuinely enjoy and genuinely is right for you, you'll be okay with putting yourself, not necessarily distancing yourself from people, but you'll be okay with sacrificing certain relationships in your life for the betterment of that thing that is important to you. And that comes with finding your flow state task. So for me, it's speaking and, and talking about like self-improvement concepts like this, talking like one-on-one -on -one with people or speaking in front of a camera. And it also comes from music. It comes from songwriting, it comes from playing the drums and gigging and all that stuff. That puts me in that flow state. It's like playing sports when you're in the zone. You don't think about what you're doing you just do it. You're just present. You just enjoy every moment that you're in there. Like not necessarily enjoy every single moment, but you don't really think like for me recording this video, the video has been recording for 13 minutes, 14 now. And it feels like I just started it like two seconds ago. It's because I'm in a flow state and I'm not necessarily thinking about the future, worrying about the past. I'm not really thinking I'm just doing. And when you find that thing where it just naturally puts you in that flow state, you don't have time to worry about feeling lonely obviously you can still kind of creep in and stuff but when you're doing that thing you're free this is probably the most free that i will feel all day just sitting here talking doing the thing that i love in a flow state just completely immersed in the present moment you just go along with the flow and the ideas and everything it's just like it's such a beautiful experience when you find that thing and you enjoy it so much and you're just you're so present and the more that you do it and the better you get the more important it will start to be in your life and it will also provide you a foundation to build those relationships upon and although it's great to have your purpose and be working on something that's important to you that still doesn't really solve the problem of finding other people on self-improvement. And this can be hard in real life. It's hard to find other people who you resonate with in real life. And it's hard to like get your friends to like, hey, come to the gym and like, let's meditate together. Most people honestly won't. But think about this for a second. You're watching a video from someone who's been on self-improvement for like the last like three, four years. And if you're this far, I assume you've pretty much resonated with a lot of the things I've said in this video. You probably will never meet me in real life. It's very unlikely that I'll meet you in real life, but you're able to hear my words and my stories through the internet. And that is the beautiful thing that our generation is able to be exposed to. We have access to the internet and access to a tool that can provide us with a community and a sense of connection that is very hard to achieve in real life. And the thing is, with this channel, I'm creating a community of like-minded people, bringing them together around these specific topics. And if you've resonated with what I said and wanna find other people on self-improvement who are exactly like you, we have a free community that you can join right now, full of like-minded people on self-improvement, finding their purpose, doing their flow state tasks, and spending less time doing the bad habits that you can join right now. If that sounds interesting to you, you can scroll down and click the top link in the description to join the free community and become a member of our tribe. Because trust me when I tell you, 
you, this journey is far more enjoyable with other people. I've been the lone wolf, I've been there, and you will make much more progress and have a far more enjoyable experience if you're on this journey with other people. Now, with that being said, if you don't know already, my name is Colby Wallace. I'm an 18 year old artist from Canada. And if you like videos like this and wanna hear me talk about more self-improvement stuff and also wanna hear my original music, you might as well subscribe. It's a win for you, it's a win for me. I've got a bunch more videos, covers, and a bunch more cool content that I'm really excited. And if you haven't already, scroll down and click that top link to join our community. My original music is also linked in the description. And with that being said, never stop creating, my friend, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.